Pardon me. Would you have any gray poupon? Well, you can do school or you can do drugs, but you really can't do both. Read Dianetics by L. Ron Hubbard, the owner's manual for the human mind. Yeah, but you're only like 22. I'm 24. You're a pup. Dude, I'm 37. You haven't even opened your eyes yet, dude. Your your mama's still licking the slob off of your teal ducks. You wish, dude. You, st you still clamoring for a little piece of mama's titty. <laughs> 24 years old. You a baby in my eyes. You the smallest of the litter. <laughs> you nothing but a suckling little baby. <laughs> Nursing that teat. You know, that's well, you. Got, you got time to get better at painting. That's, sure. <laughs> well, that's, obviously, that's uh, not a painting. Obviously, Chris, this is the <laughs> This is the canvas I want to paint on. The, what, okay. what, what always gets confused by this? <laughs> I do get confused before. He's Look, bought you, something exactly like I that. I bought Shaner's tester. <laughs> <laughs> I bought his tester on purpose. I thought, I, you know, I'm not going to explain it. I've done it on podcast before. <laughs> I love that guy, and I thought I found something special, and I didn't. So it's <laughs> God damn! Welcome to Tim Butterly Show. I mean, you can call it abstract for sure. No, I have to introduce our fucking guest right now. Okay, I'm sorry. This this motherfucker, dude, he's a motherfucking killer, dude. Ow! He's out there on the streets, prowling, looking out from under a very fancy hat, shoving fucking people up against the wall. Talk to him. He's taking what's <laughs> his, dude, from coast to coast. And He's the host of Oral Presentations, which is having another live installment at Helium Comedy Club in Philadelphia on May 11th. Let's go check it out. I want Correct. you to fucking seriously reach down and puncture your own sack right now for motherfucking Chris Wood. Come on. Let's go. We're here. Right? Bop, bop, bop. Let's fucking go. <laughs> thank you. Let's go. Man, thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight. Yeah, thanks for coming. Man. Short notice. I'm Isn't glad you're here. I mean... It was. I mean, that was a pretty good intro, right? Yeah, yeah <laughs> right. sick. I right, think that cool, might have been the best one yet. No, cool, anyway. Thanks. Appreciate you guys. Yeah. No problem. Thank you. Um, yeah, I, 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 I uh, boy, oh boy. Um, I want to pick your brains. Well, and I'm, and I'm. A, it's a bummer. It's a bummer. We're pre-recording this so far in advance, but there, it, this has been a fucking banner week for dumb bitch stuff. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if there's ever been a bigger week in the world of fucking being a stupid fucking con. <laughs> <laughs> Who are the dumb bitches? Well, uh, <laughs> I got I got distracted reading an article. And I mean, this is going to be last week's stuff now. But I got distracted while reading an article from some stupid bitch about her dumb divorce. Yeah. By breaking news, a, a dumber bitch wrote an article about being scammed out of $50,000. Okay. Have mm. you have you heard about either of these? No, no, I please let me know. I mean, internet people might be sick of this stuff by now, but some so basically, some fucking stupid bitch <laughs> wrote this really long winded article. The and, cut, yeah, it's in the cut, which is like yeah. I think it's a New York magazine <laughs> type thing. That's a MySpace. This oh, is just, it's like what a fucking idiot. These dude. are the people that get paid like hundreds of thousands of dollars a year to write bullshit. And so she wrote some, the maybe the worst bullshit ever about how uh, the, she wrote about the day I put fifty thousand dollars in a shoebox and handed it to a stranger. I never thought I was the kind of person to fall for. Oh my god! Scam. I saw this image, but I didn't. I didn't read it. What mm. is this? So okay, I can tell you the story. Couldn't and be me first off. I mean, I I read this. I do look how long this is. I read this entire thing out loud to my wife. Oh on my the couch, god! And she was she was seriously having physical reactions. Uh, probably just begging me to stop reading an article to her, but <laughs> this is this is some of the worst dumb bitch stuff ever. So she got scammed. Uh, she's a lady. She lives in like a fancy. She lives on the ninth floor of a building in a fancy part of New York City. Her and her husband have, I guess, like careers that are just like bullshit. Like that, you know, just the fancy people. They're living the fancy people life. They have a, a two year old. Um, this woman gets a phone call from Amazon and they say, Hey, uh, we need to check some charges. Did you, did you spend $8,000 on uh, MacBooks and iPads? And she goes, no, I didn't. And they go, all right, we'll check your account. And she, d she does. And she doesn't see anything on there. And then they go, Oh, you know what? This is tied to a business account. And she goes, I don't have a business account. And they go, mm, this is probably, you know what? This is a common tactic of identity fraud, identity theft. It, it, let me tell you something. We're working with the CIA on this. 
And I think maybe <laughs> maybe nothing's wrong, but I would still we would still like you to talk to this guy from the CIA if maybe you could help us with the investigation okay. or protect yourself in case you know anything does pop up. And she goes, uh, "Okay, sure." She goes, "All right, I'm going to transfer you." And meanwhile, she keeps mentioning that everyone she talks to has a slight accent, but never once tries to identify it. Every every new person in the story is like also had a um, difficult to place accent with a little bit of British in there. So. She talks to a guy from the CIA. He identifies himself. He says, what's going on? She goes, oh, well, I didn't, you know, the CIA guy goes, hey, I have, I have terrible news for you. On top of this Amazon thing, you you also are now on the hook for like hundreds of thousands of dollars of like fake bank accounts opened in your name. And here's the problem. They can't instantly, they don't immediately know that you didn't do it. So now you're under investigation. And this woman's like, oh, what? oh no. And then he transfers her to someone else. And then, and then now she's talking to someone from like the FTC. Anyway, she's getting tossed around and told the dumbest story ever. And she's worried that she's about to be investigated by the C by multiple federal agencies. And they go, by the way, don't tell your husband because the more we keep him in the dark, the safer he is from the investigation. Oh, and she you. goes, yeah, good point. Yeah, no, I'm not good. So she doesn't tell her husband. And in the course of one day, I think at one point he has to like go to work or something. In the course of a day, they convince her that uh, her assets are going to be frozen during the investigation. So she should go to the bank, withdraw all of the cash that she can, or as, at least as much as she'll need for a year, because that's how long the investigation takes. She withdraws $50,000 cash. They hand her a note about scams. So they go, here's your $50,000 and a little bit of literature for you. She looks at it and it goes, beware of scams. And it describes probably exactly what's happening to her. She goes, crazy. Goes home. Husband's not there. The, the, she's on a five-hour phone call with this fake C, this Indian CIA guy. <laughs> yeah. Dude, this and he, is... he goes, okay, the only way we're going to keep, we're going to deposit this in a, uh, uh, a secure federal like government bank account. And we're going to get you a new social security to, uh, number tomorrow with a new bank account, and we're going to we're going to move it there for you. I'm sending someone right now in a car. You're going to hand them the uh, you're going to put that in like an unmarked like bag or shoebox or something. You're going to hand it over. He's going to leave tomorrow. We sort this all out. And at this point, she's like every step of the way, she's doubting it, and she goes, "Well, I just feel like this is true." Mm -hmm. And so she even she like pushes back. She's like, "I don't know if any of this is real." And the guy's like, "Well." It's your choice. You can believe that or I can help you. So she goes down and she hands over the shoebox, drives away. The guy, the CIA goes, uh, I'm going to put you on uh, hold for a second while I uh, get the, the social security number set up for you. And then puts her, puts her on with a fake secretary and never comes back. The $50,000 is gone. She instantly knows Ugh. I'm the dumbest bitch of all time. Oh my god! What a fucking retard, dude! <laughs> like, uh, like, how did this end up being a news story? I'm sorry, I had Who to. Did she tell? She, no, dude, she, she wrote this. She wrote an she, article. She works for this. This story? she's a she's a journalist who writes for New York Magazine. She's definitely an op-ed journalist, dude. and she and writes imagine, all this. Imagine inside ima job. They have, she knew. Imagine, I, I, dude, the article. I, so. I think she's just a dumb bitch, dude. Yeah, dude. Uh, this is the equivalent of like a dude like getting an email that's like that's like we have. Uh, uh, it seems like you've been on some mysterious websites lately. Uh, we have we have uh, webcam footage of you. I think that you should uh, send us twenty thousand dollars. Yes, or we're gonna send it to everyone in your contact list. Everyone in your this is the same thing, but for ladies. I think this is worse though. I mean, dude, it's she went to worse the bank. Fifty thousand. Well, it's because she's a dumb bitch, damn. I know, I man. Believe I don't believe it. I, I know. I don't believe it. You don't believe it. It's I like, think dude, and, and every 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 time she reveals like a new part of the story and says, and then I fell for it. She she goes. I talked to my lawyer friends after this. Uh, she keeps mentioning how her friends are lawyers. They're all lawyers. They they've had similar. They've gotten scammed in similar ways. And she's like, yeah, dude, lawyers are the dumbest fucking it's people like, ever. Oh, you and all your friends are fucking retarded. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, you and your fucking fancy pants moron friends all. You you're basically cattle for scammers. Truly. Nigerian dudes sit in call centers all day and just sink their teeth are into these fucking the people? Morons. Are these the people that are getting... Is it not actually old people? Is it just like fucking retarded millennial like yuppies that are just it like... They're, they're the next gen be. for sure. Yeah. Like, oh man, look, this this has to be... They, they, all like have main they all have main character syndrome and they're like, this has to be happening to me. This has to be... Of course this is happening this to me. Yeah, yeah. It would happen Of course to me. the world is folding in on me it, right now. It would happen to me if anybody...
I write about representation in cartoons for New York Magazine. <laughs> Obviously, the whole world could turn on me at any moment. I guess you hang I am pretty. CIA. At yeah, CIA. at you CIA, hang up, dude. CIA. Yeah, what are you talking about, CIA? The CIA is Fuck calling you and telling you not to talk to your husband. It's like, okay, dude. <laughs> I so I read this whole thing to my wife, and she she just had some really terrible things to say about this lady. Oh you know? no. <laughs> And but honestly, just, just, that's just, yeah. yeah, she's smart. Yeah. I don't think anyone gave her any sympathy. Everyone is clowning on her. I think maybe, maybe the, maybe the punk thing for us to do would be to give this lady a break. Hey, you know what? You want to spend her $50,000? <laughs> you know I mean, we could start a GoFundMe, you know, and maybe. maybe oh, you don't have that? <laughs> no, I mean. <laughs> Me neither. All right. No, nah, I got a wife. Okay. Well. Maybe, maybe we could raise the money for her and then. Oh, dude, what if we what if we raised fifty thousand dollars for her, and we said sorry, the internet was mean to you, and then we go to, we go to shake her hand and give it to her, and we go psych, <laughs> <laughs> comb the hair, yeah, um, right, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> You know what I mean? And the, then Noah can kneel on the ground behind her and I'll push her over. Yeah. Dude, I, you stupid fucking bitch. Yeah. We need to get into the table topping, dude. We need to. We need table top the dumbest lady yeah. ever. If we give her 50K, she's losing 75 next week. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> True. It's I yeah, it's like giving money to a homeless person. <laughs> you hope they, they do well. Yeah, but, but you know it's gonna be drugs. Do yeah. you know any guys that got scammed into I so I I know I, I Maybe maybe I run in weird dumb circles, but I know a guy who went for a foreign bride scam, and Crazy. and I and there was even a point where his boys were just like, "Yo, Cliff's getting a wife, dude." Like, yo, I don't know. He found some website. Like, dude, we were we were in the office going like, "Damn, wow, I can't believe that works." Like, we all we all huddled around his desk while he like scrolled through pictures of this lady, and we were just like, "And she she's coming to live here?" And he was like, "Yeah," and we were just like. I guess okay. I guess that I guess that's a, I mean it's such a great idea for a business yeah that where, where we, was she we from? all believed it where was the wife from some okay. kind of like Estonia or Malkova or okay. Eastern you know that's tempting Stromovich some, some kind of place like that is that tempting though I feel like you would just assume when you see that stuff you're like oh that's a scam have you seen women from that part of the world yeah, but it's yeah. like, but still, you're kind of like, I don't know, that's nuts, dude. You also have to think about the um the the population of like pretty well employed tech guys where they aren't cool like uh, app guys. They're like IT support dudes. Yeah, and they make a very comfortable living, and your they don't old, have a family to spend it on. <laughs> yeah, it, it, basically every coworker I've ever had, yeah. and hoping for a break. Just hoping, I'm hoping for a beautiful blonde woman from Estonia. Yeah, who's five yeah. ten. and then you go. That he to found hit him on up. a fucking website that he bought, dude. Like he bought you, this lady. How's yeah, that but painting you go, going? You go pretty oh, good. Nah, I don't know about. that. I have no idea what that is. It's like yeah, it's, I'm. I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm letting you cook, <laughs> but but okay. So you say to yourself, "What am I making all the money for if I can't spend it this way?" You know what I mean? I'd be spending money starting a family anyway. I'll take. I'll take a risk, dude. You know, and then you look at the girl, and it's like, yeah, she's blonde, but like she, de some of her teeth are kind of facing weird directions. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, no, go, oh, is scam, that straw so in her profile picture? It's like, yeah, is there straw on the ground? Her, is that goat dropping? Her, her knees bend in a little bit. Don't you talk about way. Eastern Europe like that? <laughs> nah, they're they're you know they're very provincial people out there, right? Nah, where I'm from, you know, for real, for real. Yeah, yeah, that's where my people come from. We work out with cinder blocks. It's good. Are you Polish? No, I'm Lithuanian, dude. <laughs> hey, could you imagine if my old boss ordered a Estonian bride and a and Chris Wood in a wig showed up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'd make him. I'd make him so happy. I'd be like, I'm so happy. Do you have any kind of money? This Yo, is man, great. Listen, I've been practicing hand jobs on the boat the whole, whole time, time, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking the wrong language. <laughs> wow. Damn. Yo, I, I don't know if wrestling gets you hard or anything like that, but I'm down for it either way. Well, man, so let me live in the basement. It's fine. <laughs> you can have more than a couple wives. I don't give a fuck. What What's your kettlebell situation looking like? It's fine. I'm going to do push ups in the morning. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> yeah, that'd be sick. So he got scammed with that. But, dude, the best, so the, the craziest scam I've ever heard. Um, and it was thwarted. This happened to a Chinese guy that I know, and he's like one of the like one of the mentally quickest guys I've ever seen. He actually like kind of wore cool suits too. This guy was like a pretty high level Chinese guy. He fucking ruled. <laughs> Yo, 
in America, though. I, I, it's it's a like low Jackie bar. Chan. He's like Jackie. Yeah, Chan. but like, yo, dude, he was doing it. Okay, he's not like you Jackie know? Chan. Jackie Chan's a legend. You don't know. You yeah. don't even know this guy. But Jackie Sorry, Chan, I'm, I'm ja- just listening. Jackie Chan wasn't more refined. Wasn't as refined as my dude. You know what I mean? Yeah, That's what I'm saying. My, like my guy, maybe my guy wasn't spinning ladders around his neck, but like he was doing other <laughs> cool stuff. Okay. And so he, they, someone tries to scam him one day and I, I can't remember where this ended up, like where they sourced this from, but he gets a call from his wife and it's very bizarre. And she, in a very like roundabout way, tells him that like they're in trouble and they can't tell anybody. And it becomes clear that she might be with whoever is like threatening them, but everything's being spoken about in a very weird way. And then he, he gets like put on the phone with someone who starts like making the demands. Now, something very weird is he's, he's noticing that like in these changes in conversations, he's noticing that something is not adding up. So there's like, you know, obviously there's like a threat being made and like something being asked for, but like the, it, there's an awkwardness into in the way things are going. And he gets all the way, he's, he's walking around on the phone for hours trying to like suss this out, trying to like, I and they even just make sense of it. And what the story ended up being something like his, his wife got a call from, someone claiming to uh have kidnapped her brother and these people got into some you know uh gray market stuff i guess i would say Mm -hmm. so kind of you know in the realm of possibility so she becomes convinced that she needs to do whatever they say and they use her to call my buddy now they're three-way they're not in the same place they're th- this, they're three-way calling her husband and there's a guy on the on the third line pretending to have his wife and she's fuck. going along with everything because she thinks they actually have her brother fuck and i think he just kept them on the phone talking long enough to to like to make out that the story wasn't quite there like they couldn't prove you know that they were in the in the same place in some like crucial way and he just hung up the phone and, and he got himself out of the whole thing but like dude we were all we again. The IT dorks are all standing around a circle, just like, dude, they're gonna kill Singh. What the <laughs> fuck, man? <laughs> guys on, dude, guys on motorcycles in black leather with black helmets are gonna shoot Uzis <laughs> at Singh and his family, dude. The fucking Yakuza, He's a good man. dude. It's yeah. Yakuza. Yeah, Cliff, stop ordering women. Come check this out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, dude, being an IT guy, I guess, rocked in some ways. Yeah, it seems like you had a a pretty eventful uh, work life. My bad. Don't ever let me complain about that shit again. That shit was a total freak show. Love those guys, though. So, yeah, those are are my scam stories for the week. I'm feeling like I introduced some pretty stressful elements to the show and possibly talked too long. I can't believe this woman. (laughs) No, it's part of the reason why I don't do a lot of, like, uh comedy that talks about my personal life because like uh two years ago people called my relatives based on the information i gave on matt and shane like secret podcast and like other stuff i've done and they were like uh chris is a breasted da, 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 and they like uh, impersonated me and really scared the shit out of some family members whoa for, like, geez 48 hours so like i i really resent that that's why i do topics and stuff i don't like talking about my personal life at all because they had enough to be able to scare older relatives of mine into calling other relatives and so I, you know, it, it just disgusts me with the whole thing. Whoa, yeah, dude, that's dude. nuts, dude. It's you know, it's, it's I volunteered for it, but I mean, you didn't volunteer for that, dude. That's crazy. That's what the world is, anyway. Sorry, I was tagging your sing story. Yeah, but dude. Yeah, that's why I'm not on here being so, like, and I'm doing this here and I'm doing that here. It's like ah, I don't want to give that information. Thank you. Oh no! Yeah, oh geez. no! Sorry to bring it down. I know it's like a light show. No, uh, it's the, no. First of all, this is not a light show. This is probably the heaviest show on the fucking planet. I'm just, just do saying, not forget that. It was like show. I. It, uh, yeah, that wasn't a lot of fun. So try to did, keep it light. Did you have to do anything? Did you have to like take any kind of action? No, I had to like tell them that I'm not. Uh, I'm not arrested or any of that stuff. Oh man. Yeah, sorry, my mom. That's just uh, guys that call me a faggot on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much, that's pretty yeah, much what it broke down that. to. 
And yeah. Like, I'm just happy to hear you're all right. Oh, no. Oh, that's yeah. so fucked up, dude. Oh, well, no. I'm going to have to check my wife's spam filter sometime. <laughs> uh, I don't know how they found the numbers or whatever, but yeah. Okay, so I so I I, I saw this dude who does like uh uh like software development YouTube reels and uh he's got this really distinctive voice actually. I I want to show you guys this guy. Uh his name's Pirate Software. Yeah, they had a guy try to do an impersonation of me. Whoa. Yeah, that's how they got him. How would he do? I don't know. Enough to fool 95-year-olds. <laughs> Wait, so they were posing as you? Yep. What the fuck? Were they threatening? No, they needed money from jail. Oh. Sucked. No. Let's go to something lighter. No. Fuck. Uh, damn, dude. Well, listen to this guy's voice. This guy worked for, um, he worked on like World of Warcraft and shit like that. Um, oh. <laughs> and. <laughs> Sorry, dude. What? Bringing it down. Well, you're not bringing it down, dude. What are you talking? First of all. I'm so, uh, dude. I'm happy to just have you here. Yeah. I'm sorry that I'm sorry that that shit had to. I mean, couldn't happen to a sweeter guy. Nah, wow. Well, <laughs> we couldn't happen to a more believable mama, mom in jail guy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's why I'm like, <laughs> you gotta respect it on some level. You gotta respect it. There's only like four episodes you gotta go through, <laughs> and you'll find enough information to fool like people who are in their mid nineties. So someone's gonna call Mary Jo. It's like, yo, babe, uh, I'm at the arcade. I'm out of tokens. Can you send me <laughs> Apple gift cards? Exactly. <laughs> I need five thousand dollars in Blockbuster cards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's enough to scare those people. I yeah. mean, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Babe, yeah. any chance you could put money on my game fly? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, all right, so listen to this so dude's voice. So if you look voice. at this, let's go in here. We're going to say that I've streamed for about eight hours right now. We're going to say that we have 9,000 viewers right now. We're going to put the average at about 8,000. I watch hours of this guy every night. I can I could listen to the dude. Seriously, this, I, this is the narrator in my fucking if dreams If every now. one of you is watching at 1080p and you have been the whole time, it costs Twitch 4,300. Oh, my God, he's the fucking best. Anyway. He was saying that when when people uh, do like donations on like a live stream, right? There's dudes who sit there and wait for the donation. They'll instantly tie the username to so either like an email address or like a social media account, and they'll trace it all the way back to a real person. Find them on like you know public data breaches. Like they're just doing this for every name, Ugh. and eventually they'll make like similar threats to them. And th he said that the whole point of it is that they're just trying to like discourage people to donating to the streamers they don't like. Like that's how far they'll go. That's nuts. Oh my god. So I'm like, is this is this not a big deal? Like if I think it is a big deal. I think it is no one's deal, talking right? about it though. I think. I mean, I guess this guy. Well, first of all, it's happening to people who enjoy live streamers yeah. and podcasters, and it's like, dude, I mean, we're not getting on the rocket to get off the planet, you know? <laughs> that's <laughs> yeah, two, dude. That's yeah. two groups of people. Let's be honest. <laughs> that's two groups of people that are going to be on the waiting list for sure. <laughs> so it's like, who gives a fuck? <laughs> oh my God. Lonely IT guys, dude. Oh no, fuck. Yeah. Damn Reddit mods. <laughs> Reddit mod, dude. Discord. Uh, punishers, you know, we're all gonna be standing there going, See you. Wait, I don't know who this guy is, though. Who you don't need to know. Who, I mean, I just wanted you to hear his cool voice. I, I'm just, I'm just sharing something that I liked when school. Oh, dude, okay, here we go. Ready? You want, you want to, you want to get into a little bit of a serene, you want to try serenity instead of I would love that being like, bummed out. I got too heavy, yeah. Okay, so we want to take a quick second and thank you from our newest sponsor, Kush Life. Kush Life is the highest quality THCA you can buy right now, and they'll deliver it directly to your doorstep. THCA is fully legal in 45 plus states and has the same psychoactive effects as THC when heated. So just about any way you want to consume it. Kush Life doesn't sell you that Delta 8 and Delta 9 junk either. Only the highest quality premium THCA cannabis. They have a great selection, too. All the strains you know, Gelato, Runtz, Gary Payton, and more. The guys at Kush Life are working on a very special strain for everyone here at Good Boy and you guys out there. So stay tuned for special lines of bud. <laughs> this month for Valentine's Day, the team at CushLifeStore.com is hooking all our friends up with great prices and ounce specials. Along with traditional buds, check out their prices on Moon Rocks and ask them about the Kush Soda, which is set to release this spring, too. So support all the shows here and check out CushLifeStore.com. Use the promo code KUSHLIFE15, 
for 15% off your order uh, with fast and discreet shipping. Try CushLifeStore.com once, and you'll never go further than your mailbox for great cannabis again. Thank you, Kush Life. Now back to our very important show. I got I got really high the other night. Okay. It was my it was me time, you know. Hello. That's my me time. I have an hour at night before I fall asleep where I can get pretty high sometimes. And uh I stumbled upon this picture of uh it, this is a, a sunrise on California Street over the Bay Ridge. Okay. Just just look at that for a minute. You ever play Rush 64? Yeah, dude. Rush. Yeah, dude. It's like the I instantly thought of racing games. Yeah, yeah that's very San Francisco game. Rush. San you know Francisco I mean? Rush. Yeah. yeah, dude. Look at that. You going down there? Yeah, dude. Oh, and I was just man. like, wow, man. You know, bruising USA. Yeah. Damn. Imagine bombing that hill, dude. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh, crash into a building. <laughs> Or find a short, find a shortcut through one of the buildings, you know. Yeah, you go through the oh, mall. Remember, and you then find you, a key. Oh man, Ooh. oh dude, and then hit the ramp, double tap the gas pedal, do a backflip. Oh man, you know. Valid days of video games. Oh dude. dude, you were super high, and you just found that, and you were like, "This is where I need to be." Well, there were only, dude. Here's the thing, I, and I th there's a reason because Cruising USA imprinted on me in a very very big way. There was two occasions where you were playing Cruising USA. It was either in the serenity of your very smelly bedroom in the middle of the summer with the air conditioner blasting mm -hmm. or at uh, some sort of celebration or birthday party or family vacation where you're at an arcade and you're playing the real thing. And it's like either of those, it's like, you know, give me a million of those days, you know? Uh, <laughs> you got to go arcade because you could stomp that pedal. Oh, oh. dude. Oh, yeah. Oh. Let everybody in there. Oh, the know. double stomp. The double stomp. On I'm the pedal. dealing with something. Oh. I'm dealing. <laughs> it's the best. Yeah. Cruising, yeah, cruising USA, you know? That and Area 51. Remember Area 51? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I used to get pretty violent on that, man. Told me how to defend myself. <laughs> Bro, holding both guns sideways. Oh, oh my, my God. The whole that, arcade's going nuts. The House of the Dead, though? Mm. The House of the Dead was the best. The I still have all, all the people asking for help. I, I still hear the sounds in my head, you know? That Ladies sound effect that was like, help me! You know? Yeah, and there was like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's what they all sounded like when you shot them. It's like, help me. It's like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I watch uh, footage of the House of the Dead when I'm bored. Yeah, I don't yeah. feel good. Yeah. They made House of the Dead 2 with more sewer people. Mm -hmm. Fuck. Oh, these are all yeah. goals if oh, I ever get yeah. money. I'm just going to have all these lined up and you guys can come hang out. Yeah. Oh, man. Give me a punching machine. You know, the the punching arcade machine. No. House of the That's dead. liability. You break your wrist. <laughs> no way. Dude. Yeah, you want you, that to be yeah, on what's hands, dude? I'm not yeah, going to stop you from it'll, smoking. It's if gonna you be come to my arcade, I'm not going to stop you from getting as high as you want. <laughs> You're going to miss and hit the machine, and your hand's going to be a claw. And we're going to have to go to an urgent care. The machine's going to be in terrible shape. It's not even going to be registering the numbers. break your radius. Oh, dude. Yeah, that's the dream, though. That's... that's um, bro, Hal Valhalla, <laughs> really being in the is. emergency room because you slip on a punching machine. Hey, hey, that's as good as it gets. Fix him up. We still have work to do back there. Oh man, give him something. That's got to be nice. Getting getting ripped on painkillers with your entire arm in a cast, and then still begging to get your dick sucked. Oh no, let's just go back and play more bro. House of the Dead. That's called a Wildwood Sunset, man. Uh -huh. <laughs> <sighs> but yeah, so that's just. You know, that's just a little. It's a great place to land when you have some me time. I think. Uh, I think also Sonic the Hedgehog snowboarded down this, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. You know. Yeah. Perfect time of day. Whew. Wow. I think this might be. I think this might be something. This might be a regular feature. Just doing this kind of thing now. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Mm -hmm. This is. Uh, I'm. I want it to feel like I'm. I've got. I've perfectly conditioned your brain, and there's no knots, and I'm just brushing your hair gently. Yeah. I'm brushing your brain. You know, that's what, that's what this correcting is. that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, the disdain in your eyes when you looked over at well, me. Well, the like, alopecia is coming back in a big yeah. way. <laughs> <laughs> I might lose a fucking eyebrow, so we'll see. Dude, you should get the top of your skull taken. You know, people live without pieces of their skull. You should get the top of your skull taken off. So uh, you I'm can just, unmarried. So you should no. take a get a um not doing that yet. Like a rolling pin and just massage your brain back and forth. All that's what I would do. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can be my a head. helmet guy. You can be a helmet guy all the time. <laughs> if I had to shave my I'd head, I would take my it. skull off too. I'd rather just wear it. <laughs> Fuck it. 
I'm big enough to be kind of scary looking. It's all right. Have you ever thought about having all of the flesh from your neck all the way up taken off so that you're just like a weird pink freak? Like a hollow man? Yeah. You ever think about doing that? Or oh, do you go head full of... Ba- you don't even have to do anything. You just wrap your head in bandages. That'd be pretty mysterious. And just be in the house of the dead. <laughs> just make that sound like... <laughs> if you wrapped your head in white bandages and wore black sunglasses, I think people might fucking... You know, kind of know, you know, they wouldn't be calling your grandma anymore. Well, kick it. would <laughs> <laughs> be like, this guy doesn't have money. Look at this guy. He's got toilet this paper This guy's head. fucking invisible, dude. Leave him alone. Somebody summoned him in Egypt with Don't a Don't bother his grandma, him. dude. No one can even see him. <laughs> <laughs> you ever think yeah. about that? <laughs> Not yet, but if you got a pen in this studio, I will write it down. We'll see next week. It's Friday, so. Yeah, next pay. You should save up to get all of your head skin removed and go invisible. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, it's like two hundred bucks a month, so you can get it. <sighs> Man, okay. Here's something. Now let's. I'm. I want to be like kind of like a a DJ at the roller rink. Like that was kind of a a, a slow dance song, and now it's time to fucking reignite. It's time to get it going again. You know. So here's the uh, the annual Atherstone ball game. Right here, check it out. This. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Yes. This is not in America. No. Okay, so that, that clip was useless. I fe- so here's what here's the deal. This is a game and I you know this is this is pretty viral stuff. I'm sure people have I'm not showing anything new here. But this, this is, is a just good fun. This here. is like an all day game in uh some English town like works for sure or something like that. And it goes back to the 1100s. And it's kind of like... Uh, this is the game? Yeah. How did you think colonialism got started, man? <laughs> this is how they trained. This is, I mean... Not it's just that... bouncers, you can't go in here? It's just creamy acres, but you can't come in the haunted house? I, I, I kind of... I worry that this is AI generated because there's only a couple of different haircuts. Sorry. No, that's just British people. Like, that's the chav. That's they can, the only, chav they can only load so many haircuts into the memory at once before it crashes. But the game is you can't go in the tunnel. The game is actually played over a ball. Ooh. And at, at 5 p.m., who, at 5 p.m., whichever team has the ball wins. Where's the ball at? In the tunnel? It might not even be anywhere near here. The only rule is that you can't kill anyone. Well, there's no Jeez. weapons, but... So you can chicken fight, you can Guys head walk. Shots. You can stomp. Look at this, dude. You think you're you think you're fucking moshing, dude? Nope. Dude, this is... I know a couple guys who would really like to get in on this. Yeah, me too, man. I know, uh, I know an entire basement's full of dudes who <laughs> excel in this fucking game. I'm, but, I'm impressed everybody has a shirt on. Well, I mean, you know, Early fair play. Oh, never mind. No, of course, Fuck. as soon as you said that. Fuck. As soon as I said it, somebody's got a show off. Come on. Yeah, go ahead. Run on the dudes. Run on the dudes. Oh, man. Somebody's got... Uh, Green's got a sweater on. Imagine imagine being gay here. This would be heaven. Imagine being... Imagine... Oh, yeah. whoa, whoa, look, he's going for Somebody's, his cheeks. Yeah, well, as soon as you said it, though. Yeah, hold on. This, but this show. You look shouldn't be that. allowed to kill anybody, and you shouldn't be able to <laughs> forefinger a dude's butt. No, look at that, look get at that in there. there. Get that in was there. a lot. That fucking was a goose claw. me. You're not trying to help him. What was that? I'm trying to wake. Whoa! Whoa yes. Somebody drop. Yo, sting from the top rafters. Oh my god, multiple stings. Yes. Multiple. Ah. There it goes. <laughs> there goes the rafters. Jesus yeah. Christ. Man, shirtless. Sir. The yeah. electric's Elbow. done. Let's go. Let's oh, go. Point over the electric. It's so funny. This this oh, is all oh, the union sir. workers in town just generating hundreds of thousands of dollars of business for themselves. Somebody <laughs> thought about the electric. Thank God. Look, they yeah they board the windows. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dude. Start. Let's go. England hasn't given up yet. These no. guys are still in it. This might be the last cool thing on the planet. Dude. These, these were the, the, these were the RAF guys. like yeah. eighty years ago. This was the RAF, dude. Now these guys got nothing to do but kick this and punch This dude's a each superstar. And this dude in the uh, drab green, whatever color that is, that dude's Look a at him. He's earning it today, man. He's this putting himself in the me. hallway and saying, come and get it, lads. Dude. This is all just dudes oh, grabbing they all butts. Just shake hands. These guys are just grabbing butts, dude, the entire time. I think this is a gay thing. Yeah? <laughs> I think you should be quiet about England. What, what do you mean, dude? Uh, England sucks. 
England Whoa. sucks. Wood loves other countries. He's patriotic for this shit. Look at this. I love the countries I'm from. Yeah. You're English. The, you, you're, you're from there this. There's the ball. I'm a half and half. That's crazy, dude. I'm sorry. It's all right. We could still take a joke. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. No. Yeah. I don't think this is for gay guys because I think the the appeal of it is being the one gay guy there. <laughs> You know no. what I mean? Like, I, well, that's, no, why all, it, that's the only reason this would be cool to be gay. If you're the one gay guy there and no one knows and you're uh, just like, oh, no. the sleeper it's cell. the ultimate Nuru. They're all secretly <laughs> the gay guys. This is the ultimate Nuru. <laughs> it's just being hot. covered in like blood and sweat from other, like, dude, you, I mean. The one guy with baby oil. Being this like, would be this like, is good. Just, <laughs> this is good. <laughs> this would be like coming in a flotation tank if you were gay. <laughs> just arms out, crushed by the horde. Hoping that the dreadlocks guy doesn't touch you, ew, gross. <laughs> yeah. But everything else. The County Crows guys oh, are hard times there. It's <laughs> a long December. Oh, boys. You know, oh, yeah. Oh, that would be me on the ground. I'd be like, oh, please don't step on my fucking face. Ooh, daddy. Oh, I'd hate that. Oh, I'd hate it if you fucking stomped a fucking dick hole in my ass. Oh, no. Is that your fat British ass <laughs> in my face? <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! Oh, no. It's like a, yeah, the ball. There it goes. Oh, my yeah, shirt. that fucking pig bladder ball, whatever the fuck it is. Whoa! Is that? Look at this proud tradition now. Whoa! It's like there's no ladies allowed, dude. That guy just essayed her. Oh no! Nah, Did you see that? Team. No, go, go back. Look at it, boot it out. Hold on, let me go back. Yeah, so that might have been the bitch kickoff. Yep. Look. They said, "Love this sport, ain't for you." <laughs> Look at it. Have Hold a beautiful on. woman there she start goes. the game off, and then we kill each other. Look, she's trying to walk through the crowd, and this guy's fucking... Look at her, though. Look at that elbow. Let go of me, you blind me, fool. Look at that elbow. She'll fight you. <laughs> oh, I'm in love. I hope she's Grab married my already. Like a real man. <laughs> you call that yeah. a sexual assault? Look at her go. Yeah, not on not on me, me bloody aunt's arse and cunny. <laughs> well, I have a... Yeah. <laughs> These guys, uh, what, what uh, I'm trying to decipher the high vis real quick. Sorry, are I've they staff? Are those referees? Does this happen once a year, like they're running the Bulls? Yeah, for, for almost a thousand years, this has happened every year. There's only two or three places that still do this shit. Get a better hobby, dude. <laughs> uh, Look at him. You bring the young lads to show them. Yeah, Where man. is this? This is you in this 15 years. This is what years. men do. The Atherstone ball in game. Son, years, pay attention. You're running on people's shoulders if, and punching them. If you're to be a man, this is what will be expected of you. Oh, yeah, you will yeah, stand yeah. with your arms completely out, being <laughs> crushed by the throngs of None of these guys are legally men. allowed to drive a car right now. You'll All come these your dudes pants. are hammered. Young Charles, you'll come your pants. <laughs> if you'll be living in this house... What the hell? Look at this pervert. The police, he dude. He couldn't look more like... Yeah. Don't they have a dude, less yeah, right. gay pervert way Yo, to do fake that? police. Dude, I fucking hate the ops. Yeah, so I, I just... Yo, know, this does seem like something you could really get into, though. And probably excel. Ah, oh, it'd be so fun. This is... I think this is... You know... You go a few times. You want to see... The people you care about, you want to see them put in the... In the best position to succeed. And I think if I could just airdrop you into this like a Fortnite guy... That yeah. would be the best. I would enjoy it. There'd be Operation Dumbro Drop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's where we need to send you, dude. We need to oh crater right in the middle of all of them. Oh, hello. I am dumb, you know? dude. I'd be waiting for somebody to swing on that lady before she kicked it. Like, don't you fucking dare! Oh, this would be fun. Yeah, we need to send you over there. Be great. We need to. Can we? Can we do that? Can we do birthright to send Chris Wood to the Atherstone Ball game? I don't know where Atherstone is. I don't think my England. England for there. sure. England's the size of Delaware. It's. It's. You could drive there. No, I'm no, sure. but it like matters where you're from over there. You just don't oh, tell them. No dude. kidding, dude. No kidding. Just Look talk at with a British accent. I Look at the genetic there. diversity in this shot. <laughs> <laughs> Look, they're all very distinctly British, you know? <laughs> Look yeah. at Look, him. You're allowed to show up if you want to play. That's if fucking you didn't show Ichabod up to play, oh my God. I'm not going to make dude, you show up to play. This That's is a genetic bathtub drain. <laughs> that dude in the middle is Ichabod Crane. Dude, he's the main character. In this. Right here? Yeah, look uh, at him. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's I don't me. Know, man. That, he said, "Yep, that's me." Wow. You're probably like, wondering how I got in this sticky situation. <laughs> yeah, a thousand years ago, these dudes were wearing leather armor and like sitting in the woods trying to avoid the king. No, these dudes yeah. were fucking growing turnips. They got no way, to do. Yes, dude. No they way. Got they were, to these do. dudes have been clubbing each other's brains for millennia. There's yeah. no way these dudes were f- capable of even tracking a season. And this is like a nerf version <laughs> of that. They still want to do it. This is a nerf version of it. If you took this away, they would seriously, their life expectancy would drop by 40 years <laughs> overnight. So sad. These yeah. dudes would, they would shrivel up and die if they didn't have this shit. That's like the factory shutting down. <laughs> <laughs> Man, the retard game is over. Damn. Isn't that cool though? Atherton. Yeah, I didn't know that happened. That's like worse uh Atherton. Calcio Storico. So you know Calcio Storico. When's twenty twenty five? I mean I can get over there. Man, I tough week for women, great week for dudes. Yeah. I would say. You know, the clear clear victory this week. I mean, I don't know. I don't I haven't been tracking every week, but I know I know this week, dude, we're number one. Yeah. <laughs> boys 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 rule too. Boy, boys by a hundred miles this week. <laughs> Sorry, broads. Take Valentine's the, Day take is the money over. line, dude. <laughs> Valentine's Day is long gone. We're winning. Yeah. What kind of? What kind of? So I started to bother you about this when you got here. What kind of internet stuff are you not seeking out? What kind of stuff are you getting caught by? Oh, the auto scrolling? generated. You asked me the auto generated stuff I get on like uh, YouTube and whatever else is like. You can still make a life for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> it's not too late i promise it's all that shit will ferrell didn't get on saturday night live until he was 38 it's, years yeah. old oh. ronnie dangerfield was 58 that, it's all 58 that eight years old before he even started you know yeah. but that's kind of new because i've been moving around because like uh having like a physical renaissance like i played ice hockey two weeks ago like pick up ice hockey power lifted yesterday and then hip pads at night so like i think my phone is like i might be able to get this guy to do some shit i can't fucking yeah wait. we heard some grunting and some plates hitting the floor yeah maybe we, was, uh, maybe now's the time yeah exactly it's just hearing everything but uh yeah it all comes up as like you could still don't give up you ever watch um steve harvey inspirational videos and cry oh fuck yeah you cry uh not to steve i think i'm not gonna cry to, to steve, steve. I think I'm gonna cry to I lived in my car for three years. Like that. Thing. I ain't had no damn money. Yeah. <laughs> but then when you hear Cat Williams be like, Steve's making it all up. Yeah. You're kind of like, I don't know. I kind of trust Cat more than Steve. I definitely trust Cat more than Steve. I know, but. Cat ain't suck no dick. But. Well. I ain't never suck no penis. <laughs> That's on the record, dude. He never have a virgin, no dick, have dude. a virgin booty hole, and never suck no penis. <laughs> <laughs> I only have one goal in this industry: dude. that is to have a virgin booty hole <laughs> and not never suck no penis. <laughs> like that, Rob? Man, <laughs> I watched that a couple of times. That's crazy, cat. And you can you could have read fluently uh, at seven. Let me ask you That's this that I haven't put on the dress. He overreached there where he was like, I read 7,000 books when I was six years old. He's like, oh, I read a book right. for every penis well, no, I do not suck. <laughs> you got to find you gotta find the needles in the haystack, dude. You know? Yeah, like, fuck Steve Harvey, dude. Cat's number one. <laughs> he's all, dude. Cat Williams. Uh, yeah. The Pimp Chronicles is unreal, no. dude. He's like, who the fuck gave me this big ass cup? <laughs> oh, that stool jump on the tiger bit. So good. He's yeah. the best. I wanted to see him at Temple like a year and a half, two years ago, but then I felt self-conscious because I was like, I'm definitely going to be the only white one there. No, oh, my right. God. It's so funny you think you'd be white. No. I mean, <laughs> there would be a real white guy there, and you'd fly under the radar. Yeah, be for, I mean, but it's like everyone You're there You're not would white be, passing. Everyone there would Boy, be black as hell. Him. No, everyone has always told me my entire life, but it's like I'm holding strong because it's like it's, that's, that's who I am. You know? Lying to yourself. That's, that's, that's who I am. Lying to yourself. I, it's dude. like, uh, give me the test, dude. I'll take the test. The test is shave your head right now. The test is shave your head and start walking cool. Then we'll what, see. What does that even mean? If, you, if you're, <laughs> we'll see if you're Aryan enough to be cool, dude. I think I am. <laughs> I mean, you work for the park services at one point, right? No, never, never in my life. You work. <laughs> he, was a, he was a woods woody. <laughs> no, yeah, seriously, you work for like the park service. No, never in my life. You told me in a green room you were working for the park. No, service. I told you I'd like to. 
<laughs> I, I'd like to it's one day. It's still oh admirable God, that dude. I remembered that much about you. No, you remember a lot of random things about me that we talked about, and I go, wow, that's crazy. I got a great memory. You do. Damn, like an elephant. Yeah. Can women, I order a women elephants and comedians? <laughs> Can I order a, a, a custom oral presentation on Noah? Yeah, I actually Hell was yeah. going to do a redo for Noah. The sun uh, was going to be called Ernest Rides Again. The sun also rises for Noah. Because <laughs> he, he pulled me aside when I didn't finish that one. He was like, I know it's a lot, but it's like my favorite shit. Please do it again. Yeah. Dude, I think... Uh, and it's my favorite book. If this is stupid... I, I couldn't get through it. It's just bar scene shit. It's yeah. the real world from 2001. And no, absolutely it is, but it's old timey. But then it gets real. It gets good. There's kind of, it's, it's nowhere kinda, near other, his other stuff. It's kind of anti-Semitic. It's good. Ooh, I'm listening. It's no, good. I'm just kidding. What? Robert Cohen? The whole yeah, thing? Yeah, he hates him, dude. He hates. Are you guys talking book. about books right now? Throughout the entire book. Are you, are you guys talking he about hates books right this now, dude? Just because he's a Jew? Hey, no, that's not what he hates him for. It, no, but that's like the underlying thing from the beginning. Before you, you think even I would have picked up on that? I don't. You You're didn't not, finish the book. Oh, okay, that's true. <laughs> no, right, that's fair. I have an idea. I think you should open yourself up to. You, you want to do it with me on the Patreon? Yeah, I'd you love to. You want to do the book with me? I would love to. That'd All be right. great. I'm taking credit for this happening. That's and, fun. Uh, OP Patreon. Noah's doing it with me before the end of February. Let's I go. need to hit four hours because I got to roll that shit. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Absolutely. Be around. I'm around every day at all times. <laughs> That's not the best thing in the world, but okay. I mean, would I have it, a job. Wait, I have a question like for you. Have you ever floated the idea of, um, not I, I, I guess, custom fucking presentations, but have you ever, like, taken commissions? Have you ever, like, floated that idea to people? No, I I got offered a wedding, and I was like, I don't know, man. What no, just, uh, like, go, like? dude, uh, set up a, a subject submission thing. I I, do, I think people will go nuts for that. I think uh, cool college professors would have you explaining shit in at some point in a semester. You know what I mean? Real, I always thought that would be disrespectful because they have to do so much more back work if you're a real teacher than like if I'm just like being an idiot taking a whack at a subject. You think they would? They would? No, professors love to just have people come in and talk. They'd okay, I didn't know. I I got uh, family members that are teachers. Yeah, so it's, well, te I know like the amount of back work you have. To I think do. Well, teachers, do, teachers, teachers do. Teachers do. Teachers do. Teachers do. I think teachers do a lot of like actual back work and stuff. But professors are kind of like it's very kind of like whatever they want, you know. So well, think, yeah, if, if you're a college a professor and you would want to do that, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Whoa. Yeah, I think that would Whoa. be sick. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna build out a, uh, a a media kit for you and 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 get this moving and we're gonna get you uh, playing in universities. Yeah, I'm trying to get the show in colleges. That's the whole point. Yeah, dude, let's do it. That would be so sick. Yeah, that's the that's that's how you get there, dude. That'd be sick. All right, that's a secret idea. Okay, so uh, still love everybody, but yeah, I I was I was wondering if you're like how how motivational are your shits getting? Are is it like kind of like stuffy dudes or is it like David Goggins type dudes? No, I don't. Uh, I don't. David doesn't resonate with me. But this kind of stuff is also among like the same lines, right? This is like a be a man camp. Yeah, this is the, this is the alpha male boot camp that I came across. What a, oh. He's like fake Navy SEALs. Instructor's got shoes on with like sponginess on the bottom. He can't plan at all. He needs to have like A6 or wrestling. He's getting pushed ball. around. Yeah, I know, but like if it came down to it, these guys could just lure the flies, this this dude. <laughs> they could overpower him. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. dude. Even the guys with the chains would be like, all right, that's enough. I think these guys are, are predisposed to being troop respecters, though. I think also these guys are staff. I think that they know that these are tier one operators. And it's like, I better, not only that, but they want to impress these guys. That's what these guys are really looking for. They're not yeah. looking for, like, a good weekend of push-ups and piss drinking. What they really want to do is show, like, I, they want this guy to look at him and go, whoa, you've really got what it takes. Yeah, they want to be like, whoa, you're alpha as hell. Yeah, it's like, you know. They, so it's low-level comedy? 
I, I mean, basically, <laughs> it's like, please let the club, please let me host, please. <laughs> this is a testosterone open mic. You see me at the mics. I can host for you, please. No, you're not getting the ice bath. Get out of here. Jeremy, you ran Jeremy, the light. Jeremy, you ran the light. Jeremy, <laughs> Jeremy, Jeremy. These guys paid to be there, and this guy's like, you need to go home from my, my weekend class. Every single dude here should have just gotten hair transplant. Yeah. Oh, there's a lot of suspect hair. <laughs> oh, oh, even the instructor. That's a killer dude. Line. Oh, no. That's oh, no. Wood, you're at risk. Oh, oh no. Yeah, you Shit. could be alpha male, dude. Oh, no. <laughs> You fucking bitch. I'll just get one of those instructor shirts and act like I can work there. <laughs> just show up one day. Just start screaming at people. Get in the bath. Get in the yeah, bath. Get in the so, fucking bath. What's up? This guy, he's like, yeah, I don't know. I didn't think it was going to be like this. <laughs> yeah, look, this is good money. This guy's... <laughs> This guy's, he's proving something to an ex-wife for sure. Yeah. Oh, he's going, look, I don't want to be talked to like this, and, and I also don't want to rock the boat too much. Uh, she definitely found out I paid for this and is being pretty brutal about it. <laughs> I need to stick it out, but could you seriously, you need to chill. He wants to show off at the weekend drop-off. Oh, my God, dude. The weekend They're all covered in mud and bruises and shit. <laughs> Couldn't you just go in the military? No, these are guys that couldn't make it in the military, so they're paying for the right look at class. It. Look at all, every dude in here could do pull-ups. No. Look at how their shoulders know, go man. into their back. I don't know. They could all Why do is the one guy wearing, like, chains? These are all, is like... Is this a god? <laughs> yeah. Is this I a god that escaped I the underworld? type of strange punishment. <laughs> these are just, I like, tech bros. I bet that's, like, a bros. punishment thing, dude. It's, these are just tech bros. It's a golden chain. He probably won some sort of challenge, and now he gets to show... It was probably like, step forward, you win. He goes, nice. Your prize <laughs> is a 40-pound chain. It signifies uh, how strong you are and represents a higher level of challenge. And he was probably he probably almost cried. You ate the most alpha male butt. I mean, look, people are allowed <laughs> to spend their money on what they want, but this, this is a lot. Yeah, this is fucking... This is not it. <laughs> yeah, dude. I don't know what it's teaching anybody. Uh, I don't know, man. I think, yeah, I think, I think these dudes are. Do you are like living... this stuff? Would you? Do you want to do this stuff? Who me? Yeah, you. No, I don't have any interest in doing this. Uh, Would you run one of these with me? In a heartbeat, we'll just we'll run it together. What, and Noah's the only attendee. No, no, <laughs> no, no, no. We're getting Noah Jack. <laughs> Noah's the dude in the hoodie and the side, being yeah. like, "I didn't think they would be like this. This is a lot. Yeah, I this, didn't expect." I, it. I was thinking more of like a tough mutter in the parking lot. So I, I don't know. I don't no, really I know. Was Chris really assuming, that well. I was really assuming tough mutter. You know, dude, oh, I'm the instructor man. on this one, screaming at dudes. What's hanging from? Put that? the fucking chains on crazy that's a chastity belt <laughs> yeah this is my semen retention that's metal yeah that's covering <laughs> up his tiny dick I, I came in here with the fullest balls and i plan i intend to prove something about Dude, it we could i'm we, doing a 45 day orgasm denial <laughs> we could run one of these uh this poor little skinny guy <laughs> we just steal valor and say we're seals and run one. Oh, oh that's doable <laughs> this is this is a summer day camp <laughs> This is summer day yeah. camp. How much did guys. they pay to go here? I don't know. Uh, it was thousands of dollars. Oh, yeah. According to the oh, tweet dunking right on them, these. it was thousands of dollars. We could get some farmland in South Jersey for that money. Are you touching me? Are you touching me? Are Where you is it? Like, is it in MGM Studios? <laughs> Where, what the fuck? Yeah, that's on the Warner Brothers lot. <laughs> yeah, like, this is like a gorgeous industrial park. I think this is actually like a lot. Yeah, we might be getting tricked here. This is the same video. This could be like a yeah. new Jake Gyllenhaal movie. Damn. Well, the, yeah, so no on that? You don't want to go? <laughs> I mean, I would go with you for the bit and not tell the instructors we're going for a bit and then act like we're crying hard and stuff. I'm sure you don't have to You don't have to have any credentials to do that. You could just offer it, and I guess if if you just have, like... An alpha enough pot, like if you if you look strong enough on your podcast, people will do it. Do you think you look strong enough right now? I'm not sure. I've been flexing hard enough the entire time. If I turned it on right now, people will be able to f rewind. Take your shirt off. Next week, I think I'm going to go completely rigid the entire time. Damn. Like your dick? Uh, if need, yeah, if need be, but they can't see that. You can't see my dick on the camera, can you? Yes, you can. No, I know. I, I can set up a dick cam if you want. Mm. Useful. 
Dan- mm-hmm. Danny's dick cam. Get them while they're hot. No, but you know what I would like? The DDC, dude. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever seen that uh, they have that, like, it's almost like a blood pressure monitor thing that they put around your penis and they can tell when blood flow increases? I would like to start making everyone wear one for the entire show. How does times. that? Oh, man, I would disappoint you with those stats. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. Maybe we're watching Alpha Male Boot Camp and you go, thump, thump. Thump, thump. You know uh-huh. what I mean? Yeah, wow, these, these so guys are funny. Fun. You go, I wish I was the only gay guy at the uh, <laughs> ball game. At the Atherstone ball game, being the one gay guy. What do you use the clamps for? I don't It's a it's a blood pressure cuff and it goes around your penis, right? And when you if if your body sends any additional blood down to your penis, this thing detects it. Okay. And it goes, Oop, here's the gay guy. All right. Or something. I don't know. Or something they, like that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the actual purpose is, but I'm pretty sure it was just invented for pranks. Who is the Thomas Edison behind that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I got an idea. Yeah, I think it was probably uh, the perpetrator behind Megan's Law, probably. Yeah. <laughs> if I had to guess. <laughs> yeah, dude, who is like, hold on, I got no, I got one. Yeah. Um, do I have time for one more video for the guys? This actually fits good. too if it's called "Go to the Bathroom" full video because I so can wash this, this bottle, this bottle of water. You so all right. So you've never seen this. This is I, I remember seeing this uh, a long time ago. Um, non gamers might not know it. Uh, if 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 you are, if you are a, a fucking sick gamer and you remember this, then just take a stroll with us. But let me allow me to show this to my friends for the first time. It's called "Go to the Bathroom" full video. Mm. And here's a hint. You're going to think that the funny part is the kid's speech impediment. It's not. Is this Hitman? No, I think this is Mafia, but I'm not sure. This feels like Mafia for sure. Witness is calling the police. You tell from when you die. That's the new rule of the game. You talk, you die. You talk, you die. <laughs> right? That's pretty funny. That's right? good. That's good. That's good stuff. <laughs> Let's see if he says anything else funny. Game looks like it sucks, by the way. This game sucks. Really? It looks fun hold to on. me. I could spend time on this, but I don't game it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You have more of a palette than me. Here you me. go. I know this video. Get off the game, go to the bathroom, and I take a this. shit. Now. Hey. Bathroom and shit now. <laughs> go to the bathroom and take a shit. It's about you. Get off. Hey, go get, to the bathroom. Get out. Go yeah. to the bathroom. I can smell you shitting yourself. Get up and go to the bathroom. Wow. Get out. No. <laughs> get off and go. Yeah. Get out. Stop it. Oh. Go to the bathroom. Oh. <laughs> oh. He sounds like Cartman. You shit it yourself. <laughs> Not yet. No. I will rip no. everything apart. I swear to God. Oh Go my to the God. You're shitting yourself. Not yet. You're shitting yourself. Poop is coming out of your fucking hey. asshole. No, Go no. to the bathroom. Not yet. Go. Oh. Not yet. No. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> that, yeah. wo- that woman's been through a lot, dude. That woman, that's one like if you get caught doing a crime, that's like the five hundredth time you've done a crime. That woman's been through quite a bit, and she's fucking done with it. Oh yeah. <laughs> I, and that like defense is like the ultimate like I'm guilty but I gotta say yeah, something. I, I, I need to I need to finish my game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you just you oh, know yeah. you're caught. It's it's I you know I assume everything on the internet's fake, but being a parent like I just I, I've been to mm. I've been in situations that are kind of adjacent to that. No, yeah. I think that's very much real. Yeah, <laughs> that's like, very that much real. Be, but I just I, you what, overlook it like 15 times and then just you gotta go. You smell shit for the thirtieth time the in a fuck row. Off. Yeah, but I want you to think about that kid's mom for just a second, because look at us—we're having a good time. We we know that this kind of stuff happens all the time, all over the internet. There's all kinds of freaks like that. This is just some lady raising a fucking weirdo. Yeah, she doesn't know. 
she's not on the internet every day. She doesn't know that this is happening. She's just like, I live in hell, dude. Yeah. I have a child who shits his pants. I have the worst little boy in the world. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, she's like, she's like a hairdresser who doesn't understand why somebody can't stop playing video games. Yes. Yeah, but so, you're, yeah. Th but then your kid keeps shitting himself because he's playing video games. <laughs> and so you don't understand that yeah. like video games are this good now. But I don't think I understand. I don't understand shitting yourself while you're playing a video <laughs> game. She's got a yeah, full you're aware book at her job. She's cutting hair all day. She comes home. I don't even. And it's like the tenth time, and she just can't. It's funny because it's not us, but I think no matter what, I'm aware this happens. But if my kid was shitting himself because he was playing video games too hard, I'd still probably be like, what the fuck? You go shit. Yeah, well, you know, you would, like like the 20th time. Yeah, when it if doesn't correct, parent, I mean, yeah. when it doesn't correct and you don't even know how to explain it. The first 12 to 15 times, you're like, I'm not sure. It's just me. It's just video games. And then this is like 25. Yeah, that's like that's what I'm saying. This is like, I think that's a very valid response from this woman, is what, that's I'm, what saying. I'm saying. Yeah, but I'm on her side. Her, yeah, her response is perfect. But like, you just have to, I just wanted you to like jump inside of her brain for a second. And you like, your his teachers have no answers because the, the rest of the kids in school are just as like, Fucked up and weird as he is. They're all shitting themselves. And you're, mafia. <laughs> yeah. you know, you're about to have to yell at me like that if you don't end this initial episode and hop to the Patreon because I got piss pissed? so bad. Stop Please. pissing. You got piss coming out of your Stop dick. Pissing. You, got, you got piss you coming got out, piss out of your coming damn out of your ears. Friday night. Stop pissing. Yeah. No, show them the progress on We're not done with this. We're going to continue it over on the Patreon. No, show them the progress on I would the love that, but okay. just give me like three and a half minutes. You're good. No, we're going to take more than that. No, show them where it's going. Drag this is where we're at so far. This is gonna this is gonna end up being the 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 shoe box that the woman put fifty thousand dollars in. <laughs> Ooh. Wow, look at the texture on that motherfucker. That's yeah. not bad. Thing. I remember the first picture. I think it's gonna be I think it's gonna be better. With another hour we'll, yeah. we'll take, really take it over the I'm top. I'm excited to see how it goes. All right, thank you. Well, thank you. Before we go, guys, I wanna uh I wanna remind you that uh Chris Wood is is presenting a live oral presentations at Helium Comedy Club on May eleventh at four thirty PM. Yeah, you're on it. I am on it. Heliumcomedy.com for tickets. Uh, are you releasing any more audio stuff? I don't know. You just focus on the live stuff. We'll right see. Now. I just got to get the live show into different places because it's the best. Uh, it, it could just be a lot more than it is. So, yeah. Anyway, gang, uh, b bother Chris Wood to keep contributing stuff online in a nice way. Don't fucking call his grandma anymore. Oh, yeah. I forgot I told be you cool. guys that. Sorry be, about that. Be cool. Don't, don't even apologize. No. Talking to friends. Don't no. fucking like do that to ago, Wood. Be, but... be cool and and make sure uh, Wood knows like that we need that. more of him. Thank you very much. And oh, by the way, oh, big announcement: Boston, March 29th. Show sold out. We we tried to add a second show. We did everything in our power. We looked everywhere. We looked, we looked at additional nights. Our only option was moving to a bigger venue. There's more tickets. If you if you bought tickets to the first one, the, it's still the same ticket. Uh, if you were feeling pretty sore about it and, and hoping to find something, uh, or hoping for good news, this is it. We're in a, we're at the Rockwell theater, um, Ooh. twice the capacity, which means like, dude, you seriously, this, I mean, don't fucking, don't fucking tell me you guys want to come and then I do this and then make me look like a fucking fool. Yeah. <laughs> come to the goddamn show, please. Time for twice the fun at least. Exactly, yeah, and be a good show. March twenty eighth in Connecticut, Waterbury, Connecticut is selling out. So we might add, we might add another Connecticut show. But you can go to timbarterly .com, Keep an eye on the schedule. Uh, I hopefully there there may be a ton of new shows in the pipeline. I'm I have some some very hopeful stuff uh, making its way uh, toward me. Um, and then uh, obviously Indianapolis coming up eighth uh, and 9th of March, I believe. Timbarterly .com. And go over to the Patreon, patreon.com slash Tim Butterly for double the weekly content, um, a backlog of extra content, and, uh, and bonus field trip and stuff, and uh, the the preceding hour of uh, us having a great time with our friend Chris Wood. Yeah, we might play ice hockey sometime for that. We are right? definitely, we're, yeah. Uh, Not to spoiler alert. Yeah, anyway, don't tell just get, yeah, sorry about that. I fucked it. All and right. Then, yeah, and the Patreon uh, chat room has uh, some questions. So. We'll see you uh -huh. over there. Thank you, guys.